Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, let's get ready to question if this device is really worth $1,400, even though that's not what I pay for it, thanks to Samsung trading program and the other pre-order gifts, but I'm still getting side eyes from my beautiful, amazing, much smarter lady. Let's dive in. <laughs> okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I was just going to do a quick unboxing of this bad boy and keep it moving, but I figured since I like seeing stuff open... Maybe y'all do too, so let's just pop it all. Let's start with this. Travel charger, don't even remember picking this, so crack this open. There goes your charging cable. There goes your plug, 15 watts. Ooh, yeah, so impressed. All right, that's out the way. Next up, decided to go with the UV sanitizer with wireless charging. With everything needing to be sanitized nowadays, I figure why not give this a shot? Throw your phone in, sanitize everything. And I think it opens as a um, me? Maybe? Please? Oh, so I guess the magic word was please. And I guess here's the size of it. Oh. So no charging cable. So, I guess we'll be needing this cable after all. <laughs> so here goes the UV sanitizer. Where do you plug up at? So you plug up back here. So I will be using that cable. Good to know. Or I spoke too soon. Here goes all the paperwork. Here's what it looks inside. Wireless charger. Says it right there. Huh. Uh, it feels, it doesn't feel the best. It feels kind of cheap. But hey, if it works, it works. Let's get out the way. Get that out the way, though. Nobody wants to see that. Here goes the Buds Live Mystic Black. Let's go ahead and pop that. Pop that. I will be doing a two week review on these, so stay tuned. There goes the buds. Can you catch it right there? Yo, these are the truth. We will be doing that later though. Put that to the side. And now, the main event. Whew. The Note 20 Ultra 5G. So, I guess a couple things. One, I am coming from, I don't know why that wallpaper keeps popping up, but I am coming from the Note 10, Note 10 Plus, this fingerprint magnet right here. But yo, this phone is a beast. But, you know, me being me, I had to see if the Note 20 was worth it. So let's dive in. All right, pop that, pop that. Decided to go with the white version this time. Never had a light phone. Always had like black or dark blue. So decided to change it up. And there it is. There's the tab. Whew. Look at that. It's so shiny, just so shiny. There goes that camera I've been hearing about though. That camera is a thickums. Let's see if this bad boy got any juice. Look at that screen. Let's put that to the side temporarily. What else do you get in the box? Here goes your 25 watt charger. Forgot, I got the T-Mobile version, forgot to say that. And here goes your power cord. And doesn't look like you get any headphones. So no headphones in the box, but there's your charging cable. There's the brick. Is there anything in here? Nothing in there. Get my T-Mobile SIM cord. Got All right. And here it is. I wonder if this is actually a usable screen protector. 
Eh, I don't know. There's some side action right here, so if it's not going to protect the whole screen, I guess we might as well take that off. So let's just go ahead and... All right, there it is. Yo, give me a couple minutes to set this up, and I'll be right back. All right, so look, I can't even lie. I got distracted. It's like two hours later. I came to like, whoa, I was supposed to be recording. <laughs> but hey, yo, that's a good thing in my opinion. Not a bad start. And how can you blame me with the 16.9 Super AMOLED HDR10 Plus screen? with 120 refresh rate at 1080p unfortunately let's just verify because they like to do things not out the box but motion smoothness it's adaptive so it adapts to whatever you're looking at so if it doesn't need 120 it switches to whatever you may be looking at at that time to save battery or to try to attempt to make the battery a bit better you can switch it to standard to have better battery life but after paying all this money, yeah, I'm keeping that at 120. And yeah, with your uh, three cameras on the back, you got your main, your telephoto, your ultra ride with the later laser autofocus. It is only 50 times zoom, unlike for the S20 Ultra was 100 times. But yo, who really used that? 50 times is probably going to be more than enough. You'll never use 100 to. But I guess some people want to have it and says that it's a downgrade from the s20 it is what it is you got your 865 plus snapdragon processor in this phone with 128 gigs of storage after it's all said and done you're probably going to be walking away with 120 so a little more than 120 but i haven't already installed all of my apps yet but i'm not really too concerned about storage because a year use on the note 10 and i have so yeah i only used 95.68 gigabytes of 256 from the main phone and then on the sd card i used 36 out of 64 so if i run out of storage on this phone i got so many sd cards laying around i'll find one and yeah so the only thing I'm a little bit nervous about is this phone is a 4500 milliamp battery I'm the type of person to have max brightness my screen time turn out my screen timeout set to like 10 minutes multiple Bluetooth devices running off of it having my hotspot in the background and then with 120 refresh rate in 5g Yo, this battery could get a bit iffy. But yo, this, I'm pretty sure this phone is going to be a beast. With the wireless charging, reverse wireless charging, fast charging, NFC, MST, the fingerprint, ultrasonic fingerprint sensor with Dolby speakers in this. Yo, I'm not too concerned about battery life. And you can see the fingerprint sensor is super responsive. No issues there. And so... Let's go ahead and test out the camera. Everybody like a quick camera photo. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's get Deadpool next to the Note 10. Let's snap a pic. Boom, point and shoot. And yo, that's crispy. That is crispy. And that's not even mentioning you have 8K recording now. what I do with my camera? Set that to double click. It will open up your camera. There's all your settings right there. If you switch over to... Why am I messing that up, yo? But yeah, if you switch over to video, go up to your settings. You can see here's your adjustments up here. Rear video up top, 8K. I do wonder how much that will eat up an SD card. Maybe that'll be a test. Maybe I'll throw in like a 256 and record 8K. I won't be able to test it out because, uh, yeah, my pockets can't afford 8K, but maybe y'all can tell me how it looks. But yeah, man, this phone is going to be a beast. I'm already liking it. 
The only thing I'm a little bit hesitant about is the battery and how thick that camera is. That's a thickums. But I'm going to get this thing in a case, so not too worried about that. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go get everything set up, play with it some more, get this thing in a case with the screen protector. Case videos will be up next if you want to check it out. Probably have them one or two up tomorrow. So yeah, if you want to check that out, I'll be back on the weekend after I'm out the honeymoon phase. And we'll go from there. This is V Does Tech. If you have any questions, throw them down in the comments. Anything you want me to check out. And let's have some fun with this. I'll catch you on the next one. Later.